Hey everyone, welcome to another EDH deck tech. Uh, this is my Nafi Betrayer King deck. Uh, I fell in love with Nafi the first time I saw it. It just gave me that Game of Thrones vibe. Um, so this is a zombie tribal deck. It plays a bit different to other commanders in that I, when it dies, I don't put it into the command zone. I'll put it into the graveyard uh, and just constantly keep bringing it back. So it's quite nice. Um, there is a bit of deck building restriction in that you know you need to make sure you have snow permanents. Um, and snow lands to bring Nafi back. Um, so that was nice and nice and different. Before this was a mono black zombie deck and then it changed to a scarab god deck. Um, but I do enjoy the snow mechanic, so I was uh, very happy to make this. Um, so the deck, um, zombies first up, uh, carrion feeder, great little sack outlet. Uh, Crypt breaker. Uh, you can discard it, any useless cards or any extra lands or tap down three zombies. Draw cards, so that's fantastic if you don't have any good attacks. Uh, Gravecrawler, I always have zombies. Uh, this one will just keep coming back, which is nice. Stitches Supplier, uh, it will fill up my graveyard, which I want because I have some reanimation effects, so that's great. Uh, Relentless Dead has Menace, so it can get in there sometimes. Uh, it can bounce itself when it dies, uh, so... Uh, I'll always have zombies to cast, or just bring back a more important zombie, which is nice. Uh, Shepherd of Rot. Uh, so this one's a great one. It's going to ping down uh, your opponents and yourself, so just be mindful, because uh, it does count uh, all zombies in play. Undead Augur. Great. If there's a board wipe, uh, you're going to get a handful of cards, which is nice. Um, we've got a lot of Lords in here, so Cemetery Reaper, um, so it's just to give plus one, plus one to your zombies, um, and it's a bit of exiling um, from opponents' graveyards, as well as yourself, just to get some more tokens onto the battlefield. Uh, Death Baron gives everything uh, Death Touch, um, and uh, plus one, plus one, which is nice. Diagraph Captain. Uh, another nice one, Death Touch, so it's good, you know, it's going to deter people from attacking you. Um, other zombies you control get plus one, plus one, so another Lord. Um, and when zombies die, uh, opponents lose one life. So I did have somebody, they were unable to play a board wipe because I just had so many zombies that it would just kill everyone. So that was great. Digraph Colossus, uh, this one's really nice. It's, it's going to continuously make 2-2 uh, zombies. Uh, every time you cast zombie spells, so again, if you get Relentless Dead back to your hand, you know, you're getting uh, additional zombies here as well. Uh, so quite nice to have. Uh, Fleshbag Marauder, just, you know, each player sacrifice, so it's a bit of removal. Uh, Lord of the Accursed, everything gets plus one, plus one, uh, and you can give zombies menace, which is nice. Uh, Lord of the Undead, again, plus one, plus one, and I can return a zombie from the graveyard to my hand, which is quite nice as well. Midnight Reaper. Um, whenever a non-token creature dies, uh, I will get a card and it'll do one damage to me. So quite uh, quite nice, especially if I have some sack athletes like Carrion Feeder. I can just net uh, net them into cards. Murderous Rider. Destroy target creature, replace walker. So a bit of removal. Uh, and be then becomes a zombie with a bit of um, uh, lifelink, which is nice. Plague Belcher. Um, so this one here, it, it puts on two negative one, negative one counters on a creature that I control, which, okay, sure. Um, maybe I can kill off one of mine just to get some value. Uh, but it's really here for whenever a zombie dies, uh, each of my opponents loses one life. And it's important losing one life um, as opposed to dealing one damage, um, just so that you can get around some of those uh, stopping damage effects. Uh, zombie Master, uh, just to give... Zombie Swamp Walk and Regenerate, uh, so to help uh, with board wipes, quite nice. Draug Necromancer, uh, so another new one that I really fell in love with. Again, it's kind of got that Game of, Game of Thrones vibe. Uh, it's a bit of uh, graveyard hate, uh, which is nice, um, and I can, you know, get those creatures back. So um, I do have a bit of targeted removal here, um, so, you know, I can get something back. Uh, and play my opponent's cards, which is quite nice. Undead Warchief, uh, make my zombies cheaper, uh, and also pump them up. So, great. That's what I want. Vengeful Dead, um, this is another one where if things die, each opponent loses one life. So, 
great to deter board wipes. Grey Merchant of Asphodel, I have a lot of black pips, so my devotion to black will be high. Um, so, yeah, you'll you'll get some people with this. This is kind of a win con, um, as well as beating down with some zombies, I guess. Phyrexian Delva, uh, just great, reanimates when it comes in. Um, yeah. Can't beat that value. Uh, Sidisi, uh, Undead Vizier. Uh, exploits, so it sacrifices a creature. Um, I will, don't mind things dying, um, and then I get to tutor for something, which is quite nice. Uh, and Grave Titan, the big, the big one. Um, it's not a zombie, uh, but it does create two two zombies, which is uh, fantastic. And then every time it attacks, it also does the same. So just creating tokens, it's great. Uh, Gisa and Jerolf, uh, so I've got also not zombies, so I've got a couple of non-zombies, including that Grave Titan. Um, this one, this one is also, uh, like a backup commander, sometimes I'll flip the commanders around, um, and play this one as well. Um, so it puts the top four cards into my graveyard, which is great, so I'll do my casting things out, uh, and then I can play any zombies. So, you know, that, that grave car, graveyard interaction, I'm playing zombies out of it. Kalidas, Trader of Get, uh, has lifelink, so it's great. Uh, get a bit of uh, uh, life back, uh, but it also is a bit of graveyard hate, and I get zombie tokens, uh, and then I can sacrifice the pump, um, clear this up. But I, essentially, I want the zombie tokens. Uh, Ghoul Caller Gisa, fantastic with Nafi. Um, so if I can get this out first, then play my Nafi. Um, so I'm going to get uh, five, uh, five. Two two black zombies, and then I'm just going to bring Nafi back. Um, so really, really great if if I can kind of get that engine rolling. So Crone Red the Grim, I've got creatures coming in the graveyard, out of the graveyard. Um, so I'm going to get some incidental damage from dealing one to each opponent. So really good. Okay, uh, now just some graveyard interactions. So uh, buried alive. Um, I'm going to put some creatures into my graveyard, things like um, uh, Grave Crawler and things like that, that I want to kind of just put in the graveyard and get out, or I have a Phyrexian Delver target um, that I want to get. I'll just uh, put that in. Uh, victimize. Um, I don't mind sacrificing a small zombie for two bigger things. Um, so if I can bury it alive and then victimize, um, essentially, yeah, I'll get those two big things that I've just um, put into my graveyard, so quite nice. Uh, Rise of the Dreadman, so this is a uh, kind of board wipe incentive, um, so I will try to foretell this, and then I will create um, zombies for every creature that died, uh, and it's only one black mana, so you can always just kind of hold up one black mana. I'm holding up black mana for Nafi anyway, usually, um, so, you know, you're going to kind of double up on on holding it up, so that's quite, it's quite nice. And and when a board wipe happens, you're going to have you know ten zombies still. Great. Uh, living death. Um, so you know you're you're going to have plenty of things in your graveyard. Uh, so you're going to kill off everything, then bring those things from the graveyard onto the battlefield, um, and you've got lots of uh, zombie uh, synergy going on. So really great. Liliana's Mastery, uh, so it's a, a lord essentially, but it does come with two black black zombies. Um, enchantments are a bit harder to kill, um, so essentially you're going to have three, two, three, three black zombies, and all your other zombies are going to be um, plus one, plus one, so it's quite nice. Um, and the biggest uh, zombie payoff of them all, Rooftop Storm, uh, really, really good with zombies. Uh, so, you know, all zombies cost zero, um, so I will just play out my hand after that and then hope that uh, I have something that deters from a board wipe or have a, you know, uh, something to, to help circumvent that. Uh, but Rooftop Storm and then any subsequent zombies just become free, so it's great. Uh, Endless Ranks of the Dead. Uh, this one is a hard one sometimes to evaluate because it has such high ceiling. Um, but the floor, I guess, is is also high. So you it is rounded down. So you could have one zombie and it does nothing. Um, and then you have to wait until your next upkeep. Um, but you could have 10 zombies 
and you're getting, you know, an additional five. Um, so it can be very swingy. Um, it's be a bit of a win more card, but uh, man, do I love it when it goes off. Okay, some draw. Uh, so Knight's Whisper. I pretty much put this in, in in every black deck. It's just two mana for two cards, and you lose two life. Fantastic. Uh, Ransack the Lab. Um, so you look at three cards and I get to choose one and put two in the graveyard. I don't mind putting stuff in the graveyard. So, you know, it's a bit of selection there, which is nice. Uh, sign in blood, uh, just like Knight's Whisper, you know, two, two mana for two cards. Um, this is target player. So you can hit somebody else if they're, you know, milled their deck, which is always nice. Uh, strategic planning, uh, same thing as Ransack the Labs. Uh, you just put um, two in the graveyard and one in your hand, and I've got a nice foil, Mystic Archive one, which is nice. Uh, Forbidden Alchemy. Um, so this one is three mana, and it, but it's instant. Um, so I'm already holding up three mana for Nafi. Uh, so, you know, if nothing happens, then I can just play this, uh, and it does have flashback, and it's the top four, and I get to put one in, in three in the graveyard, so. Uh, Frantic Search, um, I put this one in pretty much every blue deck uh, that I have. So draw two, discard two, and I'll tape, untap three lands. So it's essentially free, and I've just put some stuff in my graveyard, which is nice. Uh, read the Bones, scry two, draw two, lose two. So just good value. Um, I mean, you could put this in for some other draw spell if, if you prefer, uh, but I like it. Uh, Windfall, uh, just, you know, wheeling is great sometimes. Um, you know, to get that fresh hand, uh, and if an opponent is kind of going off, um, and they've just kind of finished their turn with a, with a handful, uh, you can win four and you're putting stuff in your graveyard, which you like. Fact or fiction. Um, another one, I'm holding up mana for Nafi. Um, so I can fact or fiction. It's instant. Uh, and uh, I always like, uh, love playing this card and, and making my opponent squirm a bit. Okay, some removal. Um, Dark Salvation, great in any zombie deck. Uh, you know, you're going to put a lot of zombies in and you're going to get negative one. Uh, you're going to give a creature negative one, negative one for each zombie you can draw. I have paid zero for this um, just because I needed to kill something, but I already had a board full of zombies. Um, so, you know, take that into consideration. But uh, yeah, it's great, great removal. It also gets around Instructable. Feed the Swarm. I put this in pretty much all my black decks now. Um, it's got some versatility. I can target an enchantment that we couldn't really target before. Uh, so, you know, just great versatility. Uh, go for the Throat. Uh, I think Go for the Throat is one of the better two-mana kind of destroy creature in black. Um, just because non-artifact creatures, there's not too many. But if you, say, have a goalless player in your meta, this might not be as good. Um, so, you know, put generic removal here, you know, if whatever you want. Uh, Murder's Cut, same thing. I'm filling out my graveyard a lot, so Delve is not a hard thing for me to pay for. So one mana, instant destroy target creature. It's quite nice. I got some counters. Uh, so Arcane Denial. Uh, I wanted things that have one blue pip. I am not very strong in blue. It's mainly black. Um, so I can't play things like counter spell um, with the double blue. It's just too too much. Um, but I can denial it replaces itself, which is nice, and you know counters that spell. Um, and giving my opponent two cards is not that big of a deal. Dranel lock, uh, great. It's terminate and counter spell uh, in one card uh, as long as they have you know a graveyard. Um, so, you know, this might be, might not work as well in, in your meta, but, um, it's just really, really versatile. Negate, classic, got a nice little mystical archive one. Um, some board wipes. Okay. So because I'm playing snow mechanics, um, I have got blood on the snow. I've actually really, really enjoyed this one. Six mana is a lot for a board wipe though. Um, but you do get to bring something back from the graveyard. So uh, on turn six, I might have four, four snow, for instance, four snow mana. Um, so I'm going to destroy creatures and bring back a four mana value card. So, you know, it's just nice value. 
Uh, so I've, I've really enjoyed that one. Dead of Winter, another snow payoff. So all snow, non-snow creatures get negative one, negative one until end of turn um, for all my snow permanents. Um, so that will include my lands, and I have some other non-land snow permanents. Uh, also includes my commander, obviously. Um, so, you know, this actually gets quite high. Um, I wouldn't recommend it if you're only playing, obviously, if snow lands, you probably need more than just snow lands, but, um, this is, this is pretty much, uh, I guess probably closest thing is mutilate, um, just as good. Uh, necrotic hex. This is another one I, I've been having fun with. Um, so each player will sacrifice six creatures. So it's usually a board wipe unless there's a token player. Um, and then you're going to create uh, zombies. So on your next turn, you know, you kill, then you, you bring back Nafi, and now you've got six, three, three zombies that are swinging at, at opponents. So, you know, I quite, I quite like it. Okay, some ramp selection, land, uh, mana selection, uh, mana filtering, sorry. Um, so, Ash, uh, Akum's Astrolabe, that's how it's pronounced. Um, I love this when this was in modern. Um, so, it's simple, one mana, draw a card, uh, and I can filter any one of my uh, mana into uh, snow. So, this is really good because I play mostly black. I have a small uh, blue uh, mana base. So it's nice that I can filter that, uh, you know, some of that mana into blue if I need to cast my um, commander. Um, so that's quite nice. Soul Ring, classic. Arcane Signet, now classic. Uh, Cold Steel Heart. Um, so this one is a snow artifact. Uh, it does come into tap, unfortunately, um, but uh, you use, choose a color, you know, normally black, um, but it is snow, so it will produce snow mana. It's just fantastic. Uh, Demir Signet, uh, great. You know, two mana rocks are, are really good in Commander. Mind Stone, uh, a little bit of draw on it, which is nice. Uh, Tal Talisman of Dominance, uh, great. Thought Vessel, um, the no ha maximum hand size, Usually not really relevant in a zombie deck. Uh, Bontu's Monument. Black creatures uh, cost one less. Uh, all my creatures are black. Um, I have no only blue creatures. So all my creatures are black. It's about 30 or so creatures. Um, so, yeah. And then whenever I cast a creature spell, I'm going to drain everyone for one and gain one. Uh, so a nice little life gain. Okay. Uh, land. So, Pajuka Bog, uh, you need some graveyard hate against your opponents. Command Tower, so I can tap for blue and black. Uh, Clearwater Pathway, this is a modal double face card, so it taps for black on the other side. Um, so, nice if I need to put it out as blue, else it will be black. Uh, Drowned Cataclombs, uh, yeah, taps for both. Uh, now, Evolving Wilds, uh, I just have this in so that I can make sure that I have blue. Um, I will, you know, usually always have black, but sometimes I just need to make sure that I have blue by turn five. Uh, Fetid Pool uh, has cycling, so I don't have too much draw, so the cycling is kind of nice in late game. Ghost Quarter, um, I do include some kind of land destruction land in my decks, um, just because you're always going to face those Cabal Coffers, Sarah Sanctum, Guy's Cradles, uh, field of the Dead kind of situation. So having one of these is, is always kind of nice. And depending on the budget, this will either be a Strip Mind or Wasteland or a Ghost Quarter, something like that. Um, but for my more budgety decks, I'll, I'll just put a Ghost Quarter in. Ice Tunnel, uh, Snow, which is great, and it taps for both. Uh, Sunken Hollow, um, I have plenty of basics, so this will usually come in untapped. Uh, Temple of Deceit, Scry one, it's kind of nice. Terramorphic Expanse, same. Uh, I will fetch for blue if, if I need to. Uh, then Watery Grave, obviously. And then the rest is Snow. Oh, upside down. Uh, snow Lands. So you need to make sure that you have enough basics because I need to have three Snow uh, for Nafi. Um, so, yeah. That's my deck.
I uh, hope you enjoy. Uh, thanks for watching.